don't you say a word cause I've heard it all You were just pain when you felt it all Welcome back to my channel. So ignore the no makeup situation. So in today's video, we're going to be trying a few new products that I got at Ulta. I put them all in this little gift bag for some reason because they were a lot. Um, a lot of these products, they have been gratises because I do work in the prestige area. That in no way influences my opinion in these products. So I just wanted to try all these new things i've been sort of collecting them slowly so i can create like a whole face look i did purchase a few of these they aren't super new to the store but they are new to me so i'm gonna go ahead and try them in the video if you do like this channel don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos and let's just jump right into it all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start with brows i did get this um, It Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil. It only comes in Universal Taupe. I'm not sure if online they have other shades, but at least at the store, we never, we, we only have this one shade. I only used it once, I can't lie, because I was super intrigued. Um, I don't know if this is actually new to It Cosmetics, but it is new to me, and I've been dying to try it, so I did use it once. But I want to play a little bit more around with it, so I wanted to add it to this little tutorial. I'm literally just going to fill this in. At least for my hair color, it doesn't look that tone, but I feel like this might be a little light if you have darker hair than me. I mean, it looks dark here, but I do have light in my hair, so that's why I would say it doesn't look as bad. But if you like more of a darker brow, this would be too light for you. Now I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals new Bare Pro Concealer, and it is in a stick form. Um, I typically use my Shape Tape, but today, just for the heck of it, I'm going to use this new one. I think I might go ahead and use this as my primer, just to play a little with it. I will be using this concealer as well for like spot correcting just because I prefer like stick concealers like this or like thicker concealers for that. I will be using a new sponge as well. This is from the Shape Tape. It came out when they launched that foundation and I haven't used it yet so I am going to play with this one. Let's see how good it is. For it being a stick concealer, I feel like it feels very light. So, if you're someone that just wants a go-to concealer that does everything, I think this would be a good one. I did pick up this palette at the Ulta at Orlando. <laughs> I was so excited because I know it's not a new palette. This is the collaboration with Kathleen Lights, and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this palette. I wish they did carry a mirror, but I mean, for the price that you pay, overall, I've tried their pressed powder shadows before, but I haven't played so much with this palette. Um, I have swatched it. I did do a little haul on my Instagram, but I have not played with it yet, and I don't know. I'm going to create a nice look with this, maybe. Let's see. So I don't want to go so out there because um, everything that I have here is like pretty nude. So, I think I'm going to create just a go-to makeup today. Go in with this transition shade right here. It's called Twinkle. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to create like a little bit of a smoky eye. Alright, so I'm going to use a shader brush. I will be using the color Potion. They do have a little bit of fallout, but the pigmentation is good, so I can't really complain. Alright, 
I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Water Bearer. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Water Bearer right here, just to give it a little bit more of a rustic look. All right, so I'm going to do basically the same thing for my lower lash line. I will be using a shader brush just to make it a little tad darker. I'm going to be going in with Mooney and applying that to my waterline. I will not be using liner today. So what I like to do is literally tap in the color first. And then with a pencil brush, I'll go in with that terracotta. All right, so for mascara, I'm going to be using the Pure Cosmetics Big Look Mascara with Argan Oil. I believe this is one of their top sellers, so I wanted to grab it at the event. That was so much fun. Well, okay, so this is different. Um, so it has sort of like little dots on the. It's like a very different silicone wand. Um, I'm not always a fan of silicone wands, but let's see what this one. So it does have argan oil, so I do like that. Oh wow! I kind of like that. Oh my god! I'm not too picky with mascara. But this mascara is blowing my mind. Wow. And that's without lashes. I'm not going to be applying lashes because I'm on the quick run today. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to prep my skin a little bit because I want to play with this baby. This is the new Purity Moisturizer. I have used their cleanser before. I like it for when I'm traveling most of the time because it's a nice go-to cleanser. Um obsessed with the packaging I have not used it yet I have a bunch of moisturizers open so I didn't really want to open this one but I'm gonna use it for this video just to try it out a little bit it's supposed to have that lightweight consistency as well it is good for like any skin type I believe um, just like the purity cleanser is so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that to moisturize my skin it does feel very light though so I'm guessing it is a little water-based Oh my god, yeah, I like that. It literally feels like water for your skin. And you do feel the moisture. So that's a plus. So for primer, we're going in with the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. I, have, I haven't even taken this one out of its box. And I love the packaging on this one. Alright, so this one is to energize and rescue. It does have aloe, coconut water, and probiotics. I am loving that so let's see the consistency same with the primers I have a couple primers opened I I'm really doing this for you guys right now <laughs> so it is a creamy consistency I'm not sure if it would work more for like the pores I would say it's more for like correcting and let's see so basically yeah this is just to make you look nice and refreshed basically and for your makeup to last but I don't think it's like for pores or anything it has a very light consistency feels a little bit like that moisturizer that I just applied I'm just gonna apply it in my t-zone because that's where I usually like to apply primer and it's my interesting area For my pores, because I need a pore filling, I'm going to be using the original Photo Finish Primer from Smashbox. I do have it in the new packaging. Um, and no, they didn't change their formula. They just literally revamped all of the packaging on their products. And I love the metallic on it now. I feel like it's more calling to you. Um, I have used this before. I used to love it, and then I stopped using it. I don't know why. Um... But I did like it a lot. It did make my makeup last all day. I did use the actually mattifying one once and it just broke me out a lot. So that one I definitely never went for. So I'm very picky with my 
with my primers lately. Also, it is silicone based, so I feel like maybe that's what made me stop using it. I stopped using a lot of the these types of primers, but I did like it overall. I did see difference in my makeup application. I don't know. I just like to switch it up a bit, I guess. All right, so I'm going back with the Bare Minerals Concealer. I'm going to do a little bit of spot correcting. And the reason I'm doing this is because the new foundation we're going to be using is a pretty light coverage. Yeah, me with light coverage. That's like, whoa. For translucent powder, I'm going to be using the new uh, setting powder from Pure Cosmetics. Guys, I saw the packaging on this and I almost fell in love. So it comes in a little container like this. And it already has a little sponge. So that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to try with this. If not, I'll try with my trusty shape tape one. So I'm immediately going to jump with the Shape Tape sponge because I find it very, very difficult to blot it in with this. I've been holding this for a bit now, but this is one of my favorite products right here. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Powder. I can't believe they created this. I am obsessed. It is supposed to be a waterproof. I will be using a, a flat top for this and it looks like it has a color but it's actually translucent. So I'm literally going to pack it on to set the rest. Because as dewy as I love the makeup, I am an oily girl in the summer, so I need to set my life and make sure it's resistant. <laughs> this packaging, as lovely as it looks, I feel like the powder, you can barely get it off. It is very mild, so it's not, I wouldn't say it's meant for baking. I feel like it's just to literally just set your face a little bit and you're good to go. Um, but you guys know I like to pack on my powder, so that's why I did the double thing. Another thing that I did not like was the packaging. It is white and it's already dirty and I'm upset. <laughs> so I definitely like the all-nighter a lot better. Alright, so now I'm going in with a beautiful and new natural face palette from Too Faced. I am obsessed. Oh my god, this palette is so beautiful. It actually kind of reminds me of the Jaclyn Hill and Becca palette. When they came out with their face palette, I do have it and it looks a little similar, but oh my god. The highlighted shades would definitely be different. Um, and it does carry a bronzer, which we're going to be using. I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild brush for it. I've been actually really liking this brush. And I'm just going to tap it in a little bit. And, oh my god, that is super blendable. It is a very warm and light bronzer, so I would definitely just use it for bronzing. I don't know if it would work with every skin tone, though. I feel like it goes from fair to medium skin tones. But overall, the palette looks from medium to darker. So, I don't know. There's a lot to this palette. Like, I feel like everybody can use it. For blush, I think I'm going to go in... Mm, not sure if to mix Pink Wink with a little bit of Tropic like it's hot. I'm going to go in with these two colors. With these, I know you have to have a very light hand. Because they can get pigmented. Oh yeah, that's a perfect color. I love Too Faced blushes. They're just so pretty. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup before I apply highlight. And 
And then for highlight, I will be using Satin Sheets. I'm going to put it a little bit in my tear dot right here. Beautiful. And for Lippy, I will be using another item from the Kathleen Lights collection. This is the Ultra Satin Lip in the color Dreamy. I feel like it's the perfect shade. It's a little bit of a peachy undertone. So I'm going to use that. And while that sits a little bit, I will be using, I know it's an odd color, but I wanted to top it off with the Buxom Lip Gloss. This is their new Transforming Lip Glosses. This is in the shade Mariah. I love the packaging. It is a plumper, so I wanted to go ahead and use it. And it has a little bit of that blue undertone, so I'm going to mix it up a little bit. And I love the wands. They actually made the wands like this like in the silicone base just so it doesn't disturb the lippy that you put on and I haven't really played much with these they have other shades as well I haven't had a buxom lip gloss in such a long time I have been loving the glossy look so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of a gloss because I feel like that's perfect for the summer Alright guys, so this is the final look with all of these new products. I definitely love the lip gloss. It feels cooling and amazing. The powder, I did like it, but I wasn't a fan of it. Like I said before, it got dirty really quickly, so <laughs> that was one of my first like bummers with that. I love the packaging. It is beautiful, but I feel like overall for the product, if you want to get the best out of it, you can't really use the sponge a lot. You have to use another one. And to get the product out, it's a little uncomfortable, so you have to put it somewhere else, like in a little container. It's a little bit of a hassle. I did love the all-nighter. I am obsessed with it. It did help set my makeup a little bit better than the actual Permian Rose powder did. The Big Look Mascara, I was very impressed by it. I actually loved it. I don't have any lashes on right now. I actually was very impressed. I do like that it has argan oil. The formula feels very, very light and creamy. So the brow power, I did like it. I wouldn't recommend it for darker hair or anything like that because it will look very light on you. But overall, I do like the shade, at least for my hair color. Obviously, I loved my face palette. I'm obsessed with it. The packaging is beautiful. I want to explore more of the natural collection. They did come out with all of the nudes. They repackaged and reformulated their mattes. The primer, I want to say I absolutely need it because I feel like the moisturizer did its job. The Kathleen Lights collection, I feel like it was so beautiful. I liked all of it. I feel like ColourPop should be in every Ulta. I hope we do get it at every Ulta because, honestly, I would drive to Orlando to get it. I know Viera has it now, so I'm excited, but I hope we get it at our store. And same with Morphe. I feel like Morphe has to be there, too. So that's my little review on all of my new products. I definitely enjoyed trying them out. If you have any ideas for any other future videos, let me know in the comments down below. And that's pretty much it for today. I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to beautify with love. Bye. Change a thing now, there was never trust Don't you say a word, cause I've heard it all You were just a pain when you felt it all oh. Something tells me that I